Hello, welcome to our demo of HubSpot, uh, our 2025 version. I've got five minutes to run through this, so I'm going to talk quickly, I'm going to go quickly. Now, if you're currently using spreadsheets and you want to convert into a CRM, if you're wondering which CRM is the right fit for your business or you've heard of HubSpot and just want to know what it's all about, you're in the right spot. I'm going to spend the next four minutes and uh, 40 seconds explaining what the software is all about. So if I, I'm on the current, currently on the HubSpot website, if I scroll down here, HubSpot is made up of a number of hubs. So the first one is your uh, CRM hub. This is like what I would say a traditional CRM component where all of your contacts sit. You can put notes against people where your contacts sit, sit in there, your phone numbers, your email addresses. All of that personal information goes in there. That's our CRM hub. And then there are other hubs sort of sit around it. So the first hub that typically that uh, we would work with with people is our marketing hub. This is where you get to plan out and uh, manage all of your marketing. So whether that be your social media, sending emails and newsletters, uh, whether that's tracking how your marketing is performing, that sits in marketing hub. And then the next one is our sales hub. So sales hub is where once they've gone from a marketing person or like a, a, a lead to someone who actively wants to do business with you, you can manage them through the sales hub. The, one of the biggest uh, advantages of using sales hub that we hear is that it uh, it's set up so well that uh, people don't have to worry about sales opportunities falling through the cracks anymore. So let's jump in and take a look. I've got three minutes and 30 seconds. So uh, I'm gonna jump into the CRM hub now. So in here, we've got all of our contacts. So we can jump into a contact record. I'm just gonna search for myself. And uh, in here, I've got uh, this person here. And you can see in my contact record, I've got everything, a lot of it is automatically stored. I don't have to do anything off the cuff. So as an example, if I book in a meeting, it automatically gets stored in HubSpot. If uh, there's an email that I send, that gets stored in HubSpot as well. And uh, some other areas have got like follow-up tasks. If we've got a follow-up on a sales opportunity, uh, it will also track calls from my phone. And I can put in manual notes here as well. The other thing I do love about this, it can also track what pages that uh, this person has viewed on our website. So if you're about to do an outbound call with someone and say, hey, and introduce yourself, you can see, hey, they've been looking at this page, that page, that page. And when you're talking to that person, you can have a contextual conversation as opposed to going, oh, what do we talk about? So they're sending you the signals and you can uh, appropriately have a chat around those signals. So uh, that's our contact record. On the right hand side here, we've got things that they're connected to as an example. So they want to have uh, a service with us. We can see or immediately see that they have interest in some sort of service and we've got a sales opportunity created for that. So let's jump into the marketing section now. So I'm gonna jump in here. We've got uh, say our ads. So if you have paid ads running, whether it be Google, whether that be Facebook, LinkedIn, those types of paid services, HubSpot will tell you how your ads are performing. So as an example, uh, we'll see how many people have seen it, how many people have clicked, how many new contacts you have created uh, over the uh, last X amount of months, how many new sales deals were created off the back of it, how much you spent, and how much of that converted into actual business. So in a very, very quick uh, space of time, you can see uh, what, uh, what sort of resulted from your paid ads. So you can just get a, a good view of that. So no longer having this big black hole of like, hey, I'm, I'm spending money on marketing, but I don't really know how it's performing. This fills in that gaping big hole. Um, so the next area, area we look at is uh, our emails. So if ever you've used MailChimp, if you send newsletters or struggling to send newsletters, um, this section of HubSpot is fantastic. Uh, we've got areas where you can say, hey, look, um, let's send this to people who maybe we have an ongoing newsletter. Maybe we've got an email to send to people to say, hey, it's been uh, over six months since we've done business together. Here's a few new developments in our business. And some people might say, hey, I didn't realize you had that service. And then suddenly they pop up on your website and then suddenly they become a customer, customer again and start buying off you again. So they're really, really fantastic for that. 
So I'm going to jump into the sales workspace now. So I've got uh, about 15 seconds. I'll probably go a little bit over time. Uh, so this is a new sales workspace which was released at the start of 2025. So the thing that we love about this and all of our clients love about this is a um, the sales leads workspace. So if someone is a new lead, say they've come in via your website or someone's giving you a contact form or a referral, you don't really know who they are yet. Do they have budget? Do they have a need? Can you help them? We can track this through the leads section of HubSpot. And as an example, we can say all the way back here, and say, well, this person's a new lead. We haven't, no one's spoken to them yet. Let's pick up the phone and have a chat to them. So you give them a call, manage to leave them a voice message. We haven't caught, caught talked to them yet. We can say, hey, we've attempted to call them, um, but I'm actually going to uh, set up a meeting to follow up with them. So I'm gonna say just on this one here, just so you can demonstrate it. Let's say we've got tomorrow, I'm gonna to give them a call, bing, and then that's it, you've got a task set up for tomorrow to give them a call. The other great thing about this is once we move through the sales cycle, uh, we can actually say, hey, we connected to them, we had a chat, and then ideally you had a chat, and you're like, hmm, actually they, they're a good fit for us, let's create what we call a new sales deal for them, and then that we can track that through our sale, what we call our sales pipeline. So stay with me, I've gone a little bit over. So in our sales deal section, uh, we've got all of our sales deals. Now I actually personally prefer uh, this view here. So uh, this is where we have all of our sales deals. And I've just filtered them out because our demo system, it gets a little bit cluttered. So all of our sales deals where we have, where they are in the sales deal. So what I would typically happen is that we set up an initial call, had a call, now we've booked an appointment. So let's move this across and they're now an appointment. Now we've had a chat to them and they want to send a quote. So we can go in here and set up the system so it could automatically create a quote if you wanted to. But then they move through our sales pipeline, ideally all the way to closed one. Uh, and we can have a pop-up that says, hey, why did they why did they choose us? So we can then run a report to say, why do people choose us? And that's our sales pipeline. The last section I'll show you, yes, I've gone a little bit over, is our dashboards. So a CRM system would not be complete without reporting on the top. So very quickly, we've got our uh, reports here. So we've got things like, okay, well, what's been sitting in our sales channel? How, where did that work come from? Uh, did it come from ads? Did it come from this? Did it come from that? So we can start to make decisions around our marketing and our sales. So if that was of interest to you, yes, that was a super, super fast demo of HubSpot. Uh, if you would love to deep dive further into specific areas of HubSpot, uh, please book in a meeting and we'll set up a demo for you. If this has got you thinking that, hey, I actually like to try HubSpot for myself. Uh, we do have a guided, uh, self-guided online course uh, for 197 Australian dollars where it teaches you how to build up your CRM using the free version of the CRM. So you can do every, a lot of things that I showed you today. And uh, you can do things like take payments, take recurring payments. So if you're a coach or something like that and you're on a monthly retainer, it'll sort all that out for you. Send quotes, templates, connect with your marketing, landing pages, you can build a website off it. You can do so much with it. Uh, if that's of interest to you, sign up for our online course and get yourself up and running with the free version of HubSpot CRM. Uh, so thanks again for watching. We will have more of these videos coming out and we'll see you in our next one. Thanks again.